This video will show how to quickly generate values in a column by simply using the mouse to click and drag. Calc has a feature called Autofill to populate numbers and dates. This can save a lot of time and help increase accuracy when trying to fill a lot of cells in a column. Besides populating a column of numbers, we can use it with dates, prices, numbers in a decreasing way. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. Stay tuned to see how Autofill works for a wide range of scenarios to easily populate numbers and dates. So the normal and slow way to populate columns is to go through Sheet in the menu, then under Fill Cells, we can click on Fill Series. Then the Fill Series dialog appears. It lets us choose a direction of the series, choose a type, and even put in start, end, and increment values. But having to use this dialog for every column sort of defeats the purpose of using Autofill for convenience. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to ban it and not show this ever again. Now a quick demo on how to use autofill is to select a number or type it in. Then on the lower right corner, put the mouse over the fill handle icon. Click and drag the mouse down. If you notice, there's a tooltip here. Right now it shows 18. And when I release the mouse, it has populated values from 5 through 18. The default method of filling is it will increase by a value of 1. So this will also work if I have a decimal number. In this case, I typed in a price and I'll use autofill. So now I have a list of price from $1.99 up to $14.99. And lastly, we can have it work with dates. This pattern shows the date and increases by one day down the column. So this scenario is using autofill on selecting one cell only. If you've noticed, all I had to do was type or select just one cell to use autofill in these three scenarios. The default pattern it establishes is just to increase by one. Even. Now I'll get into selecting two cells. And this is where autofill really shines. So first, let's generate a list of odd numbers. I'll just select 1 and 3. Then autofill takes care of the rest. Same thing if I wanted even numbers. I'll select 2 and 4. Of course, we're not limited to just an interval of 2. We could also increase values by 20 or anything that we want. Autofill will figure out the interval and apply it to the whole series. You may be wondering, what if we have some spaces in between? So if I selected two cells, but one of them being empty, it will actually just repeat the blanks, but will increase the values going downward. And with prices, we could have it increase by a decimal value not just one dollar, but perhaps 50 cents. And when it comes to dates, this could be very useful because figuring out dates is one of the hardest things personally when it comes to mental math. So if I wanted to get all the Mondays from now until the end of the year, I'll just type in the two Mondays, then autofill it down. Since this only goes to September, I'll scroll down and autofill some more. There we go. Now I know the last Monday of the year is December 30th. This will also work if I wanted to get the first or the last day of the month. So now we see a pattern here that is weekly and this pattern is monthly. And lastly, if we wanted to do a decreasing order, let's say by 5, 
And I'll select the two cells I've typed in. Autofill will go down even into negative numbers. Now it is possible to select three cells and use autofill, but it doesn't seem that useful to me. I'll let you decide. So it'll work the same way as selecting two cells as long as the pattern is consistent. Here again, I have a list of odd numbers. So let's see what happens if I type in three numbers that does not have a consistent interval. When I select the three numbers, Autofill will basically just increase it by a value of 1 and repeat it. Because there is no consistent interval in the cells I selected, it's using the default interval of increasing values by 1 as I drag it down the column. So that's it for selecting three cells. But as a final tip, I want to show you how we can save even more time by using double clicking. Instead of having to click and drag, we can use double click. So here I'll try the first day of the month. I'll select the two cells. So instead of clicking and drag on the fill handle, I could double click. Now this only works when there's already a column to either the left or to the right of my selection. Autofill will automatically detect to the last number in the adjacent column. So if I did something like this for two cells and double click, it actually didn't do anything for me. So make sure when double clicking, the adjacent column already has values populated. Then another bonus tip is if you have multiple columns or series to generate, instead of having to double click over and over for every single column, you can prepare your columns ahead of time. And it doesn't matter how many columns you have in total. But go ahead and select at least one cell in each column as a group, then we can apply autofill by double clicking the fill handle. It went ahead and figured out the interval for each column and applied it down to row number 20 for me. And speaking of calculating and a lot of math in this video, if you're wondering why I just keep talking about numbers but bring no attention to words and text, well, don't worry. I actually have a video for that. Calc has a way to do something very similar as autofill with numbers, but with sort lists. So here I was able to generate months of the year. It works a lot in the same way as autofill, but of course no math is required. If you're interested to set your own sort lists, then click on the in card to watch that video I made on how to do just that. Thanks for watching and hopefully you've learned a few nifty things from this video. Have a great day and happy spreadsheeting!